Hi everyone, in this video I continue the discussion of how to translate certain expressions in English into the language of propositional logic. In this video I focus on biconditionals. So in English, simple and complex propositions are often combined or joined together by the use of the term or expression if and only if, or IFF for short. That is, there are propositions that we utter and use to argue that have the following structure or form. P, if and only if Q, where P and Q are placeholders for other simple or complex expressions. So for example, John will go to heaven if and only if John is kind. John will be convicted if and only if there is clear evidence that he committed the crime. And the Green Party will win the election if and only if they adopt a more conservative approach. Notice that in each of these examples, there's a complex expression formed of two simpler expressions. And this complex expression is created by the use of the expression if and only if. So for example, in the first sentence, John will go to heaven if and only if John is kind, we have two simpler sentences. John will go to heaven and John is kind. And these are conjoined to together by the use of the expression if and only if. So propositions of the form P if and only if Q, where P and Q are placeholders for other expressions, are true if and only if P and Q have the same truth value. In other words, P if and only if Q is true if and only if P and Q are both true, that is they both have the value of being true, or P and Q are both false. So here's an example. Suppose we want to know the conditions under which an expression like John will go to heaven if and only if John is kind is true and false. Let's consider various scenarios and then assess whether or not the expression John will go to heaven if and only if John is kind is true or false. What this sentence asserts is that on the condition John is in heaven or will go to heaven, then John is kind. And on the condition that John is kind, then John will go to heaven. So essentially what it says is that if one of the conditions holds that John will go to heaven, then the other also will hold. And if one of the conditions does not hold, then the other does not as well. So essentially what it states is that we can't have one condition or state of affairs without the other. Suppose that John goes to heaven and John is kind. Well, if what the if and only if statement says is that John will go to heaven if and only if he is kind, and we have that John goes to heaven and he is kind, then this scenario would make the statement true. Second, we have the statement, John goes to heaven, but John is not kind. Part of what the if and only if statement asserts is that on the condition that John goes to heaven, then he is, he is kind. But here we have a state of affairs where John goes to heaven, but he's not kind. He's a horrible person. And so we would say that this state of affairs would make the if and only if statement false. Third, there's a state of affairs where John is kind, but John does not go to heaven. This state of affairs would make the if and only if statement false. The reason is, is because part of what the if and only if statement asserts is that if John is kind, then he will go to he heaven. But here we have a state of affairs where John is kind, but he does not go to heaven. Finally, we have the state of affairs where John does not go to heaven and John is not kind. This would make the if and only if statement true. So what we see here is that expressions of the form P if and only if Q in English are true in, under the same conditions that P double arrow Q are true in the language of propositional logic. In other words, we saw that expressions of the form P if and only if Q are true provided P and Q have the same truth value. That is P and Q are both true or P and Q are both false. The same thing is true for the biconditional in the language of propositional logic. P double arrow Q is true provided P and Q are both true or P and Q are both false. Thus, in conclusion, we can translate propositions of the form P if and only if Q into the language of propositional logic as well-formed formulas of the form P double arrow Q. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another video on the language of propositional logic. Like the video if you thought it was helpful and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos on topics in logic.